guys so i am back with my second trimester update and you guys i cannot believe my second trimester is pretty much coming to an end um to be exact with my date um today is january i want to say it's january 6th i'll put the correct date right here um but if it is january 6th um i will be ending my second trimester um this week so super excited about it because that just means that i still have just like three more months to go before he's here um so just wanted to give you guys like a quick rundown as far as how my second trimester went um i will say it was so much more easier than my first one and i told you guys like my first one was not bad at all it was just pretty much the uh whole fibroids situation that was an issue um and of course like my boobs hurting my back hurting all that good stuff um and just eating a lot but compared to my second trimester i kind of felt like my appetite went back to normal and then i wasn't as tired as far as like because of the pregnancy and my fibroids was not an issue <laughs> so that was like the best part ever but at the same time it wasn't like you know like super amazing either only because you guys know I work in retail so with it being like holiday season i pretty much was working like longer hours and doing those like turnaround shifts where you like close and have to go back in in the morning um or have to go back in like at 6 a.m even though i may have closed like the night before just different crazy things like that or have you guys know how retail is you work in retail just different things happen to where you just have longer hours that you have to work um so being that i was pregnant it was kind of a little bit more stressful on me only because i kind of felt like my body couldn't keep up with the demand that it was requiring of me as far as like my work uh duties but i did push through because again it is my job i have no choice but to push through so in that aspect it made me like really really tired um and i always felt really like low energy and just not my like my like my best um <laughs> so that was a little bit of an issue for me was just feeling like really tired and i know they said like your second trimester is supposed to be like your best trimester where you have so much energy and you're back to normal and i do believe that's true when i did get a lot of like a lot of sleep i did feel like re-energized and like back to normal um but when i didn't get any sleep was when i really felt like i had no energy plus on top of being pregnant it wasn't really like the best situation but i did push through regardless um but besides that, like I told you guys, my appetite went back to being the same. I wasn't eating as much like I was my first trimester because my first trimester, I was pigging out on pretty much any and everything. Um, and my cravings weren't really as intense during my second trimester. Now, I may have a day where I may crave like something random, but it was nothing that was you know as crazy as my first trimester so um i was happy about that to know that my appetite went back to being normal like always um the only thing i will say is <laughs> during the second trimester i have been so out of breath when like walking or even like me sitting out here talking to you guys i feel so out of breath like it's ridiculous and i'm like saida get it together stop breathing like you know just stop breathing like a person who is about to pass out <laughs> just pull it together um but i cannot control it like i don't know why i'm just like <sighs> <laughs> like it's just just it's just insane like every time i talk to my mom or my grandmother on the phone they're like okay i'm guessing you're walking somewhere because you sound like you're out of breath and i'm like listen i can't control it leave me alone <laughs> I just think it's just the extra weight because right now um well i won't say right now but when i uh went to the doctor for my last appointment which was back in december i weighed 138 um i do have an appointment coming up next week so my weight may have went up since then but i do know the last time i weighed at the doctor it was 138 so you know i do have the extra pounds on me and it's an adjustment that we have to pull through but we are pushing through you guys um so besides that i think that was pretty much it as far as like that is concerned um my boobs do not hurt anymore they feel perfectly fine only thing is like my bras are not fitting at all but you know what we're just gonna push through for these next three months because afterwards they'll kind of 
you know, shrink back down a little bit. So we're just gonna push through, but my boobs is fine, my back is fine. Um, so no achy parts. And I think like that's pretty much it. Like it just wasn't, it wasn't a bad trimester. Um, just the feeling tired part, that was the biggest thing for me because I just did not like the way it made me feel. Like it just really made me feel like I cannot wait for this to be over. Um, but again, that's only because it was holiday season and you know, working those crazy hours plus not sleeping, you know, but um, Oh, I did experience heartburn. Oh my God, you guys. I experienced heartburn for the first time and it was the worst. I did not like the way it feel, well, the way it felt. I did not like it because it felt like a fire was going off in my chest and I just wanted it to stop and it would not stop. Like, and laying down, do not do that. Like, if you have heartburn, the one thing you do not want to do is lay down because it just made it so worse. So I did experience heartburn. I did not like it, but I know it's something that I, that I have to, like, deal with because I'm pregnant, but I did not like it. And also, leg cramps. I did get leg, uh, leg cramps some nights, um, and I spoke to my uh, doctor about it, and they said it's pretty much because I am dehydrated and I need to uh, increase my water intake. So I'm trying to do my best to increase my water intake because the leg cramps, they hurt so bad. And it's to the point where if I have a leg cramp throughout the night, the next day, like that morning, like while at work, like my calf is hurting me because it was a really intense leg cramp. So I did not like that. Um, I still do have them sometimes, but I'm really trying my best to increase my um, water intake and of course like eat more um, food that's rich in calcium or drink my milk, just different things like that to make it stop because I don't like it. Um, still no stretch marks, knock on wood, but I know I still have three more months to go. But as of right now, I still don't have any stretch marks. And um, I did ex uh, I did get the, uh, the flu, which sucked so bad. Um, I got the flu right before Christmas and I had to go on bed rest for three days. So I was out of work for three days and it was the worst feeling ever. Like being pregnant on top of having the flu, I do not wish that. I don't wish it on anybody because you guys know if you had the flu, you know, when you're not pregnant, it sucks. So to add being pregnant on top of it, it just sucks all around. So I did have the flu and I did get like a general cold um, also. So I was pretty much sick twice during my second trimester. One with the cold and then one with the actual flu. So I don't know, it was a lot. But besides that, you guys, it was pretty much a smooth trimester. Um, if I forgot anything that I wanted to mention as far as my second trimester, I will put it in the description box for you guys. But I think that pretty much just covers everything. Um, again, we are rolling into our third trimester next week, Friday. Um, so super excited about that. And you know, he's almost here. Like it's, it's, it's coming to an end. So yeah, you guys, hope you enjoy my quick update and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.